This is KLST News at 5. Welcome back. A long day for our San Angelo School Superintendent Chris Moran, and you're still on the job now. It's been a great day. <laughs> you know, the last buses haven't pulled in yet, so the day's not over, but it's been a great day. And uh, aside from just a few glitches, it's been a very smooth day for students. You started parents. early this morning shaking hands at Lakeview. I started at the Transportation Center at oh, even earlier. with our drivers, and they uh, were excited to get on the road and pick kids up. And then I was at Lakeview thereafter and visited campus th campuses throughout the day. It's been a really good day for us. There are a lot, you know, some 14, almost 14,000 students yeah. enrolled in this district. That's a lot of people. Yes, and uh, most of them showed up today. Well, that's a good thing, too. <laughs> it's all gone fairly well, and again, the kinks get worked out. I think I'll just throw this in there. It's interesting that kind of the plan is start for two days, give people a weekend off, and then they come back again on Monday. Right, and you know, Monday, just a reminder, San Jacinto and Reagan begin Monday. We gave them a delayed start because of that campus consolidation after the San Jacinto uh, structural damage. So those two campuses will begin Monday. Everyone else started today. And I would, I talked to some grandparents over the weekend at a school supply drive who were concerned about teachers going with the students, and you all have planned for that so that the students feel comfortable. That's right. Everyone's staying together with their teachers, and those campuses, although they're on one property, are actual separate campuses. All right, yeah. so that's all underway. Again, they yeah. don't have to start back until Monday. Also, high school football is getting going. Scrimmages for Lakeview and Central tomorrow. It begins. Meet the Chiefs is tomorrow in the San Angelo Stadium, and we've got a 5 p.m. Uh, meet the Chiefs and then a scrimmage thereafter. Come out, buy your Lakeview gear, support the Booster Club, buy concessions. And then on Saturday, it's Meet the Bobcats at 5.30 p.m., and the same kind of deal. Uh, come out and, and support those booster clubs and, and see the kids in action. So it's underway and sit on the sh shady side of the stadium. You'll be good. <laughs> we should also a reminder, this has been a, a, a policy that's just been in effect for a few years about clear bags if you are going to the game. Right. And our website has information about the clear bag policy. But apparently, uh, you know, it's something out of safety and uh, just right. security. We, we ask that people look at that, become familiar with it. It's at the stadium uh, only at this point, but if, if folks will pay attention to that and save themselves a headache, when they show up, uh, just bring a clear bag or, or leave it in the car. Or a walk back to the car, which can yeah, happen. A lot of people, true. but again, that's a policy that's happening all over, you know, everywhere now just for security reasons. Right. And the, the high school football season will be getting underway. Back to schools, whether it's elementary, high school, or middle school, the, the bus routes, the pickup and drop off routes are kind of important too. Yes, they are. And, you know, if parents have any questions about bus routes, we're uh, glad to help them. Again, the website or call transportation. But pick up and drop off, make sure you know the designated area and stay with that and then pay attention. We've got a lot of kids that are pedestrians and walking to and from school and crosswalks and just we're asking our community to be uh, extra vigilant during this time and watch for those You know kids. and there's always a child who's not paying attention to traffic who's worried about missing a car or missing a bus or something and you have to be so careful and we get you know during the summertime we kind of forget about that. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a new uh, thing at the beginning of the year everyone just needs to be reminded slow down take your time and watch for kids. There's a lot of kids that uh, you see texting and walking which is dangerous, but uh, we need to keep an eye on our children and keep them safe. That part's probably not going to change. <laughs> it's easier to have the drivers pay more attention yeah. to that. So, first two days, everybody kind of gets things going, and then you'll have total enrollment numbers coming in in the first, I guess, the first few weeks. Right. Right now, our team is crunching numbers uh, after the first day, and usually it takes about a week for things to settle. Some of the students that are no-shows and new enrollees, but uh, numbers look good right now, and we're excited to balance classes and make sure this year's a great one. If we can I'm guessing all the air conditioning's working really well. Your your uh, mechanics guys were it on that. It is now. Sure. We had a few glitches this morning, but we're we're off and running. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna really need it next week. Dr. Yeah. Moran, nice to see Great you. To